for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Aquarius, in the recent past, we've got the hangman, and it's with the Knight of Swords. Now this hangman, it's showing that you could, or you did feel like you were at a crossroads, or maybe confused about a person or a situation. Um, you probably felt like there were two options, in or out, up or down, yes or no. You could have found that you you wanted to do something, but you had no idea of what it is or how to do it. Now, if that did happen, it would have been a sign, sign to stop, relax, and maybe look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, people, or maybe some things. So it would have been possible that there was an outdated attitude or wish that you needed to let go of. Any sacrifice that you made, it would have opened up your life to something even more positive than what you let go of. So overall, it would have been or it, sh it could have been a very thoughtful, reflective time, especially if you were willing to look at if or how you might serve your own best interest by being willing to change. So the hangman is with the knight of swords. Knight of swords is about an upbeat, cheerful type of energy. Someone or, or something desirable seeked you out in the recent past. Um, the knight of swords, it's also about physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you are waiting on news from someone or something, you probably liked what you heard. Now, the Knight of Swords, it's about a lot of activity, travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. You're not feeling like waiting for anything to come to you. But, man, that can be a good thing. It's about going after your heart's desire. So Aquarius, basically in the recent past, Hangman, Knight of Swords. So you, you were dealing with someone who was um, probably trying to sweep you off your feet? This person um, was already was always ready to take action to walk to come towards you to be with you. You see how he has this huge sword in his hand. He would have cut out anything just to be with you. This person, um, yeah, was coming in really fast, really fast. A lot of times, um, really anxious to be with you, but. A lot of times this person left you confused for some reason. You were confused about the connection or about this person. Like I said, maybe you need to let go of an outdated wish or an attitude. And then you would not have been so stuck in your head in the recent past about this person. Or confused. But that's the recent past. Let's move on over and let's take a look at the present time. So we got the death card. And it's with the Two of Pentacles. Now the death card, keep in mind, it doesn't necessarily or even usually indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will and such things are not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation and change. So, you probably are definitely in a time of deep transformation. It could be both internally and externally in your life. Could be some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to. They may no longer be available to you in quite the same way. Now, this transition, it can be difficult, very difficult for some people. But the change is nearly always needed. Death card is with Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is, could be about two main issues at front in your mind. But you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things, multitasking. It is really not your friend when you get the Two of Pentacles. So you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. Your financial situ situation may need to be more balanced, so be sure you're paying attention there. So what we got coming up, present time, Death Card and Two of Pentacles. So it looks like it looks like you you could be dealing with someone that's a juggler, someone that's a two timer because that's what the two 
Pentacles is known as. They're back and forth. They got that back and forth energy. Or that's what they do. Um, and it looks like you're changing. It looks like you're going through some type of change internally or externally. Mo more than likely internally. And you're probably feeling like you're not the same person that you once were when you first met this person. So this this juggling, this two-timing, this back and forth that this person does in this connection, it's not going to work for you because you're no longer the person that um, maybe you were when you two first met. So it looks like you might decide, you might feel like you're unhappy in this connection. Or you might feel like you're unhappy, but you don't want to let go of something that's familiar. Or you could be the type that you hate the thought of being alone. But it looks like you're changing. Yeah, so you might let go. It looks like you could be seriously considering ending this connection. Or... or um, the death card is also about losing interest. So you come to some finality, you're losing interest, and yeah, this back and forth energy and this two timing that this person brings to the connection, it's not going to work for you any longer. That's what it's saying. So let's see what the challenge is. Now we got the strength card and the queen of cups. So the strength card. It's about meditating, contemplating, spending some time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you got a lot of kids. But make sure you don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things, they'll be going pretty well. They'll be going all right. But what's most important is keeping your head on straight. Not only do you have the ability, but you have the responsibility. So it's about conquering any, any fears, controlling your impulses, and never losing patience with what you're trying to do or yourself now strength card is with the queen of cups the queen of cups um is a very positive outlook very positive she's very nurturing very healing type of person very supportive um this person is very helpful she reminds us to bring love, compassion to our work, and that's even possible if we work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. So this is a this is a good card, the Queen of Cups, really good. Strength card is 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 positive. So it looks like your challenge is that because you you're dealing with someone that you're not happy with. It looks like you're trying to find strength in yourself. So you're pulling out um, a lot of things that you need to move forward. Yeah, because the strength card is about acceptance, patience, compassion. It's about self-love. It's about unconditional love. It's about self-respect. So you're embracing you. Yeah, and you're becoming strong and you're trying to become stronger as a person and you're trying to um, stay motivated and be positive and then you've got this really loving healing supportive person I don't know if this is uh, someone else that you're dealing with it could be a friend or a family member maybe your mother someone is very um, someone is helping you through this process yeah this is probably difficult and you probably had a lot of feelings for this person um, yeah, but they juggled, they two-timed you. So, with the death card here, it looks like you could come to a conclusion. You've lost interest. you got someone here that's, um, being very healing and supporting and, nur and nurturing you during this time. And you, like I said, you're trying to just be strong and, and positive. That's why the strength card is there, and you're, you're working on yourself, self-love, self-respect. Yeah, because you might have lost this 
all these positive qualities about yourself when you were with this person. So, yeah, someone's there that's um, helping you get through this time. Because um, the death card, like I said, it could be a difficult time for a lot of people. For a lot of people. So you got support there. You know, that's really good. So let's see what the outcome is. We've got temperance and it's with the emperor. Now, temperance, with this card, your relationships, they're... They should be going really well or kind of well, but you might need to look at some deeper personal issues and see if they're standing in your way and if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the ideal is to do it, it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and in your, in your goals and aspirations. Now, Emperor, this is an interesting energy. Um, it shows that domination over the mind, over the heart is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, you should welcome it, and that's what you have to think about when you get this card. Because when hard choices must be made, it's important for you to maintain your concentration and your focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-control focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. If you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems Mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. Okay, so your outcome, temperance, and the emperor. So Aquarius, it looks like this person, um, they don't want to let you go. Yeah, so they see that you're, you're working on yourself. You're becoming stronger and empowered. And, and they see that you look like you're empowering yourself. You're, you're practicing self-love. So... Yeah, you know, they see that you're no longer under their, their roof or shadow. And that you could be trying to live your best life. Yeah, so they see this, so your person, they come back. Or they're not trying to let you go. They're coming to let you know that they, they want to work on this and bring balance back into the connection. Yeah, because that's what that temperance card is there. So temperance can be about reconciliation. They might try to reconcile with you. And they're going to let you know that um, they're going to try to make you think that. Well, they're, well, they're going to try to give you peace of mind. That's what temperance does. Yeah, that they can bring balance back into the connection. Because they probably took a look at things that they felt guilty about, any mistakes that they feel they've made in the connection. And they're trying to, to balance it out or make things right. Yeah, so, but the thing is, the trick is that they come back as the emperor. Yeah, so they're going to talk the talk, but they're going to have a hard time doing this. They're going to have a hard time opening up. The emperor doesn't open up his heart. Okay, they don't wear their emotions on their sleeves. Um, they never want to come across as being vulnerable. This could be a leader, a boss, really arrogant type. So, for a lot of you, Aquarius, it's the same person from the recent past. Because when you hear the word recent past, it could have been a week ago, a month ago, six months ago, or more. Same person that um, was excited to be with you. Um, but this person left you confused a lot of times. It could be the same person. But anyway, they don't want to let you go. They're gonna let you. They're gonna let you know that they want to bring balance back into the connection. And they might try to reconcile with you. But the the way they're gonna do it is gonna be kind of cold. It's not gonna be in a loving, warm type of way that you probably would hope or wish that it would be. Yeah. They're going to have a hard time opening up their heart. Yep, so just know that um, that could be a, just a personality flaw. A lot of people have a hard time showing emotions. But, um, yeah, this person, they don't want to let you go. They, they're coming back. So that's the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Post my next reading. Post my next.